Hey everyone, welcome back to eCarC. My name is Eric. Today we have our TT02R chassis kit that we're going to be building. We got our tools ready. Eek. It does have great instructions. Very easy to follow. TT02s are actually, you know, a lot of people think they're boring to build because there have been so many TT02 kits. This one's a little bit better because it does have hop-ups in it, but you'll see the instructions are very clear. It shows you in the beginning, it talks about the different wheel bases and what you got to do is follow the body set wheel base. It tells you right here what the wheel base is and you just follow that in the instructions. Lots of hop-ups in this one. You see lots of bearings. We're going to start with bag A. You can see right here we have aluminum parts, lots of extras, lots of extra bits, lots of blue anodized goodies. As always with the TT02, we do start with drive shafts, the drive cups, and the spur gear. And you'll see this is a high speed gear set. And all the aluminum parts here, these are all hop ups that come with it. Including all the bearings, which most kits do not come with bearings these days. I like to use anti-wear grease in the TT02 diff. It does give it a little bit more resistance, but it makes it a lot smoother and you don't have to use a lot. You can just use a little bit of grease. It goes a long way. It gives you a little bit of like limited slip. So it is a little more controllable. So of course we do the same thing on the other side and we build both diffs are exactly the same front and back. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. What I did not show on the video here is that I did use a little bit of grease on all the gearing. I didn't show you myself putting grease on there, but I did use anti-wear grease just a little bit. Not just in the diffs, but on the rest of the gears. And this is our motor plate here. The motor plate's great because it does guide you. It shows you, okay, according to what pinion gear you want to use, that's how you mount the motor. Very solid. Very worthy upgrade. It's great that it comes with it in this kit, but if you don't have it, you have a typical TT02 base kind of uh, no frills kit, you, you definitely want to pick one of these up. They're not that expensive either, and you can even get them on Amazon. We are using a torque tune motor, as you can see. I actually really do like the torque tune motors and the TT02s. With the high speed gear set and the right pinion gear, I do feel like it gives you a good amount of speed. It's not overpowered. It's very controllable. I mean, if you ever do want to do any kind of on-road racing, the Tour 2 motor is great, especially on the 2S LiPo. So we can get the lower arms in, pretty similar front and back.
So they do want you to use these plastic suspension balls. They don't come with the, the upgraded low friction ones, the metal ones, but you'll see here, I did buy them. They were pretty inexpensive. I think they were like under $10, maybe $8. They just, uh, it just make the suspension much smoother. It just feels more free. The uh, plastic ones, you know, the plastic ones seem to uh, feel a little bit more like they're binding. So I tend not to use them so we can get rid of these. see even more hop-ups in this one, including the turnbuckles, the upgraded rear bearing carriers, and other aluminum bits and pieces. You see the metal dog bones here too. These are also another hop-up that the normal kit does not have. Springs are a little bit stiffer. The bearing carriers, everything is just really good quality. So here I'm getting the uh, steering knuckles in and the dog bones. Now the rear bearing carriers or hub carriers and dog bones back here. Everything actually goes together nice and smooth in this kit. Now we're getting ready to get the uh, shocks on. So we're gonna get these ball connectors in. We're gonna build the shocks up. Yes, it does come with oil shocks as opposed to the regular standard TT02. It does not come with that. It comes with just friction shocks. The oil dampers are, I believe, like $25 alone. And this kit is only about $50 more than your standard TT02 kit. So as you can imagine, if you buy a lot of these hop-ups, this is gonna, it would cost you way more money to buy the hop-ups than just get this kit itself. So here we are, we're gonna build up the shocks. And now one of my least favorite parts, building the turnbuckles, which I do not like. And these turnbuckles are actually quite tight. You, you can put a little drop of oil or you could put some like some beeswax or something on the actual threads. It, it does make it go a little smoother, but either way, it's kind of a struggle to build the turnbuckles. And these you have to clamp down all the way to the center of the turnbuckle shaft. So you got a long way to go with these. Now we're going to pop in our electronics and I'm not going to bore you with that. You've seen it probably a million times. I got a Hobbywing 1060, my regular Fly Sky receiver, and I got a high tech servo, a uh, high speed servo that we're going to use on this one. As you can see, it's all ready to go.
this is interesting. I found these Pirelli tires. These are HPI, but they're branded Pirellis. It says right on the side. And the original Celica GT4 actually used Pirellis. They were a sponsor. So I did see one that had, they have the same sidewalls and everything. So I figured it would be fun to use the Pirellis, even if it is more for the scale look. Even if I run them with like the slicks or different tires, I'm gonna at least mount these Pirellis on for now. Not a fan of these uh, hex adapters right here. I know they look cool with the, um, the mock brake discs, but I'm just not a fan of how they lock in. I think uh, in the future I might get uh, a set of aluminum ones, or I might even have some to put on here. And of course they give you the blue anodized wheel nuts for this kit. And of course you can see here the toe in on the rear because it's got three degrees on the uh, bearing carriers. So I'm going to get some pictures here with the body on it. I'm not going to cut the post yet because I might see if I can, uh, you know, interchange some bodies with it. And look at that guys, look how nice that looks. So hopefully you like this chassis as much as I do and hopefully you like the way the body came out. Thanks for watching everyone. Please give me a like if you can. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I do have some other great content coming up. I'm going to work on some armors soon. I do have my javelin build that I'm going to do pretty soon. Just subscribe so you don't miss anything that I throw out there. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you all in the next video. Eek.